welcome back to another video. So it's been a little while and hopefully you guys are all doing well as out there in the great wide world that we live in right now. Um, it's an interesting one. I'm definitely doing all right. Uh, definitely not uploading as much as I would have liked and putting on quite a bit of weight that I'm pretty ashamed of. So hopefully when the gym opens up, I'll be able to take that off because yeah, I'm getting tired just talking right now. All right, so this video and this purpose of me doing this is A, because I'm bored, B, because I kind of wanted to share with you guys, and three, because why not? Um, now, a lot of jersey collectors out there, hockey jersey collectors, have ambitions of getting at least one jersey from every team, and this purpose, this video, I want to take you on my journey. Um, I'll be showing you guys the first jersey that I got from each respective team. I'll be including Atlanta, Hartford, Quebec, and I don't have a North Stars jersey, so I won't be able to show you guys that. So there'll be a couple extra teams, so it'll be a little bit more than 31. Uh, but we'll pretty much kind of get started off right away, going in alphabetical order. I'll show you guys the first Ducks jersey that I ever got. Alright, so we're starting in alphabetical order, and I'm showing you guys the first Ducks jersey that I ever got was this Mighty Ducks Paul Korea jersey. Um, just because I'm doing this in alphabetical order from like you know, Anaheim up to Winnipeg or whatever. Um, this is not, does not mean that this was the first jersey that I ever bought by any means, but it's the first Anaheim jersey that I ever got. And can't really ask for much better for your first Ducks jersey. It's beautiful. Alright, so up next, my first Arizona slash Phoenix jersey um, was this one. This one because... It was right when they switched over to the new design with the head, like the black on the sleeves and everything. So I was able to find this one for really cheap. I think I got it for like 50 bucks or whatever. Great, great jersey. I really underappreciate it, I think. Um, now that it's gone, I'd like to see it come back at some point. Definitely not full time. I definitely wouldn't want that. But you know, bring it back for a once off. I think it'll look pretty cool. But yeah, just a simple, nothing too crazy for this. Uh, Selection, but yeah, really like it. All right, so this one is a bit of a twofer because I got these at the exact same time. I got these actually the very next day that the Thrashers moved to uh, Winnipeg, the hockey store in Saskatoon where I was living. These went down to $30. So I bought both of them and I'm extremely happy that I did because I have not seen them since and I don't think I could have ever have gotten that lucky. But yeah, I bought them at the exact same time. So I think I picked this one up first so I guess technically this would have been the first one, but I got them at the same time. All right, so up next, this beautiful Boston third jersey was the first Bruins jersey that I ever added into the collection, and I couldn't have been happier. This was the one that I really wanted. I love when they use this, and it's part of me that wishes they were still using this, although I do love their third jersey right now. Man, this one will always be a favorite for me. All right, so my first Buffalo jersey, and this one has been in my collection, been with me for a long time. I think about since 2011. I found this one and I bought it at um, the same sports store in Saskatoon where I got the Thrashers ones. Yeah, I absolutely love this jersey. Yeah, this is my favorite Buffalo look, I think, of all time. Uh, the Offenigenoff is a relatively, relatively new uh, addition to the jersey. I think I got that done about three years ago now. And yeah, this one, if I could frame it, I would. This is just a thing of beauty, and I never want to have this one leave the collection. This is one of my personal favorites. All right, so the first Flames jersey I ever got. Um, I actually got this here in Calgary, and the reason I got it was because he had just been traded, and it was super cheap. 50 bucks. I was actually at the airport where I found this. They have like a little flame store here in the airport in Calgary. 50 bucks. I couldn't believe it, so I instant, instantly bought it, and I'm super happy that I did. I wish I would have been able to get it with his number 93, because that's a little bit more of a unique number for him, but still really happy with this one. Cam Larry is definitely one of my all-time favorite flames. Couldn't ask for much better. All right, so my first Carolina Hurricanes jersey was this bad boy right here. Uh, this was right after that they switched from this beautiful design to that terrible, plain, really boring design that they had after this. So I was able to get this one for like 40 bucks at Sport Check here in Calgary. Really happy about that. And I went actually right back about a week later and bought the white one as well. And couldn't ask for much better. I really, really like this jersey. And really happy to have something somewhat similar to this right now in Adidas. So Carolina, you did a good job. 
All right, so the first Chicago jersey I ever had was this Coho jersey, uh, Theo Fleury. Now, I got this when I was working at Sportcheck. Um, not from Sportcheck itself, but one of the guys I worked with knew I had, like, a decent little jersey collection. I had, like, ten jerseys at the time, I think. And he wanted to see if I would be interested in buying this. He knew I really liked Theo Fleury, so, yeah, I didn't pay a lot for it. I don't remember how much now. But it was not a lot. Now it's a really nice jersey, like stitching and everything, the twill and everything that I really like in a jersey. It's got that. Coho, they do a really nice job. So Chicago, yeah, it's a beautiful one. All right, so my first Avalanche jersey, I believe was this one. It might've been this one or the home one. I can't quite remember. I feel like it was this one just because I really, really love this jersey. And I've been looking for it for a long time, so I, snagged it as soon as I was able to find it but yeah it is gorgeous uh, my favorite avalanche jersey of all time e easy but yeah it's a nice looking one and I'm really happy to have this one in my collection right now but moving on all right up next this was the last jersey that I needed before I was able to say I have all 31 teams and Columbus it took me a long time to get a Columbus jersey but yeah really happy that I got this one I definitely probably wouldn't have gotten it if Jokinen hadn't been traded there, or waived there, or picked up on waivers, whatever it was, I can't remember, a little while ago now. But I probably wouldn't have gotten it right away if he had not played there, but I definitely would have got one at one point, but yeah, really like this. This is one of the ones, one of the rare ones that I paid full price for and sent it out to Keener Jersey to get customized, and this one was a pricey jersey in total. This one is probably one of my most expensive jerseys that I've gotten. And it really sucks because it has a small logo on it, so at some point I would like to be able to upgrade it, but you never know if that's going to be able to happen or not. Yeah, really nice. <sighs> Moving on. Alright, so the first Dallas jersey that I bought was this one. Um, I got this one actually right when they came out. I did pay full price for this one as well. Um, really still quite happy with it. I really love this jersey. About a week later after I bought this one, I did buy the one that had uh, been replaced by this one, the one with the Dallas word mark above there. So about a week apart, but I did get this one first. And I've had different Dallas jerseys when I was a little kid, but I don't really have them anymore, so I can't really show you that. But this one is my Dallas first jersey that I have in my new collection right now. All right, so with the Detroit Red Wings, not technically a jersey, not technically the Detroit Red Wings. Um, this is definitely kind of based off of the uh, Winter Classic jersey that they had in 2009. But obviously that was based off of an early Detroit team in the 1920s. And it's an actual, like, sweater jersey. So this is really great to wear, you know, outdoors, playing hockey in the winter here in Canada. It's great. And this was actually a Christmas gift, so can't go wrong with that. But yeah, this one I think has been with me since about 2010. And loved it ever since. All right, my first Oilers jersey. Now, I actually did an unboxing of this one really, really early on my channel, like one of the first maybe five videos. Uh, this was the first Oilers jersey that I got, and it was really weird to me then. It's not weird to me now. Um, I've grown to really like all teams pretty much at this point. And now this one isn't my favorite anymore. At the time when I bought this, this was my favorite Oilers jersey. It has since been replaced by their current um road jersey that they have right now. But this is my first one, so always remember your first. All right, so my first Florida Panthers jersey was this one here. Um, again, I probably would have got this if it wasn't for Jokinen uh, joining the team. July 1st, he signed with the Panthers. I was watching Free Agency Frenzy up here in Canada on TSN. I was actually at my sister's, not here in Calgary, but actually back in Saskatoon. I was visiting for a weekend. As soon as I got back to Calgary, I went to Pro Hockey Life and immediately bought this jersey and had it immediately sent out to get crested as well. I was just so excited that Jokinen was going to Florida. And yeah, I was in love with this jersey and I still am. I really love this jersey. I honestly wish this was still their home jersey right now. I really like it. All right, so my first and only Hartford jersey uh, at the moment is their beautiful white jersey that they have. It's got the nice little whale pucky on the side. 
beautiful jersey. Can't really say too much more about it. Um, surprised I got this as the first jersey. I really wanted the one with like the darker navy and the silver. I really wanted that one. I definitely still want that one as well. So I would like to add a second heart for a jersey, a dark version, into my collection at some point. But this is absolutely beautiful and I can't complain about this being my first heart for a jersey. I believe I got this, actually I know I got this on Full Moon jerseys on eBay as well. Um, unfortunately they don't really have a lot of good stuff on there anymore. They definitely had some really nice stuff about like two years ago. And unfortunately, like I said, they don't have a whole lot of decent stuff on there right now. At least not that I need. Maybe you should go check them out because they do have really good prices. Especially if you're in the States. Definitely check out Full Moon jerseys. But yeah, you're probably not going to find this one on there anymore. Alright, up next is my first Kings jersey that I got. Now, this was pretty much right after they started introducing the look that they have right now. So I was able to get this one for really cheap uh, back in Saskatoon. And same store, I got the Thrashers one. And yeah, really, really happy I got this. My friend actually was able to pick up the black version of this for me a couple months after I got this one. But this was definitely my first. And yeah, super excited to have this one. And I would... Love to see something like this come back in the future. Don't know if that'll ever happen, but man, this is just an absolutely gorgeous looking jersey. All right, so the first Minnesota Wild jersey that I have. Now, I don't have the North Star, so there'll be no other Minnesota team in this section. Unfortunately, I do have my eye on a North Star jersey at some point, but this will do for right now. Uh, this was the first Minnesota Wild jersey that I ever got. Um, I believe I got this at the Sport Check here in Calgary as well. But, yeah, this is my favorite Minnesota jersey. Eh, I have a hard time saying that because I really like their home jersey right now. But I love, love this look. Um, with the green pants, the green helmet, just the whole uniform just looked really, really nice. Man, it's just gorgeous. I love the felt logo. Really happy with this one. Definitely happy I have this in my collection right now. All right, my first Montreal Canadiens jersey. Uh, this one, like the Detroit one, is one of my... Oh geez, this is one of the original jerseys in my collection, and it was a Christmas gift, I think in 2009 or 2008. Um, it was blank for a really long time. I just got the Huey 39 put on there a couple months ago, but yeah, definitely still one of my favorite jerseys in my collection, and it would be not a very good collection without this, I don't think. Montreal, definitely bring this back as a road jersey, please. All right, my first Nashville jersey was this gorgeous looking jersey. I got this one from Full Moons as well. Um, Full Moon jersey definitely doesn't have something like this right now, unfortunately. But I'm super happy that I got this one I did because I've not seen one since um, anywhere really online for sale. So definitely happy I snagged this. And cannot wait to get Marty E. Rat on the back of this jersey at some point. But yeah. Definitely very, very happy. I almost didn't get this because I really was going to just hold out and try to find the white version of this. Man, I am glad I didn't do that. But Oh well. Alright. So the first New Jersey Devils jersey that I had into the collection was this one. They don't change their looks a whole lot. There's not a huge difference between this one and the old pre-Reebok Edge era looking jerseys. But I was able to get this one for really cheap. And honestly, this was kind of just one of those ones where I'm like... Well, if I eventually want to get a team, uh, a jersey from every team, I'm going to need New Jersey. So I just got this. I think it was like literally 30, 30 or 40, $40. Jeez, my voice is starting to go. But yeah, really happy with this one at this point. I don't know who I decided to get. I think I'm going to get Zubris on this. But yeah, that's what I'm getting on this one. All right. All right, so my first New York Islanders jersey. I got this here at Pro Hockey Life in Calgary, and I got it for on sale because it's just got like a tiny little piece of dust up there that you're probably never going to actually see or notice, and I could probably just throw this in the wash and get rid of it. But I got it for 20 bucks. No, 30 bucks. And super excited about it. I'll definitely be getting Evgeny Nabokov put on this one at some point. But for my first Islanders jersey, I'm really happy with it. All right, so again, another collection original. This is definitely in my first 10 jerseys that I ever owned. Um, my Peter Nedved New York Rangers jersey. Now this was right when he tried to make his comeback in the preseason. He got a few preseason games in 2007. 
played actually really well, I thought, and didn't make the team. I was pretty disappointed because I already sent it out to get his name and number crested on there. But I got this one pretty much for free. Um, I got this one. These jerseys still costed $100 brand new, so I did pay full price for this one, technically. But I had signed up for a new bank that is opening up a new branch or whatever. They gave me a free $100 for opening an account. We were in the West Edmonton Mall, and I saw this one, 100 bucks. I had 100 bucks that I just got from the bank. It made sense to me. So, yeah, I like the story behind that one. But this is definitely my favorite Rangers jersey I still have, even though I have some pretty awesome ones. The first one for me, always the best. All right, so the first Senators jersey that I ever owned was this one right here. Uh, this one, again, I got was able to get for free, actually, because when I took in my um, black third uh, Blackhawks jersey to get Marion Hose put on it and it got screwed up uh, and they were not able to fix it. The company that I dropped the jersey off to get done, they pretty much said, well, we can't fix it and we can't find it to buy a new one for you, so we'll let you pick whatever jersey you want. So I picked this one and I'm really happy with it. I got Stefan DaCosta on the back and again, really, really happy with this jersey choice. Um, definitely would not be able to find something like this right now, I don't think, at least not without paying a lot of money. So, really happy I have this one. The first Flyers jersey that I ever bought was this one right here. Um, the only reason I was able to get it, or I ended up getting it, was because it was really cheap. I think I paid 50 bucks for it, so really happy with that. I had it sent out to get Shane Goss' spare put on the back. Um, when you pay more to actually get the name and number put on the, and you pay for the actual jersey itself, that's pretty good in my book, so definitely happy with it. Um, I don't really think I'll be upgrading to the Adidas one from this one, but you never know. For right now, really happy with this one. All right, so back to another collection original. Uh, this is definitely one of the first ones that I owned, and this was a birthday gift. Um, There's about two years where my birthday and Christmas, all I was able to want was jerseys, and this one, Super excited to get this one as a birthday gift. Um, I actually got the A put on before he was actually ever named um, uh, alternate captain, which is a little bit risky looking back on it now. But back then I was so sure he was going to get the A. I don't think I'd have the balls to do that now. You never really know how those things are going to work, but it worked out for me all right. And yeah, still really great fond memories of this jersey wearing it in high school a lot. Yeah, it'll always have a little special place in my heart, being my first Pittsburgh jersey. Well, technically it wasn't my first Pittsburgh jersey. There was about like five or six, I think, that I had before this when I was really little, like really little. But I pretty much outgrew all those, so this is, as far as the collection goes right now, and what I have in it right now, this was the first one that I had it for, for Pittsburgh. But, moving on. back to another collection original again a birthday present for my mom at this point I think this is the last uh, jersey that I got as a Christmas gift or a birthday gift or anything like that at that point my mom's like okay you got enough jerseys you don't need any more so uh, yeah Paul Korea on the Blues this was when he was actually playing for the Blues I got this and I'm super excited about it at the time I still absolutely love having it in my collection right now and yeah my first Paul Korea jersey and my first St. Louis Blues jersey all in one. And I couldn't have asked for a better birthday gift. And I can't believe how lucky I was growing up to have parents that were willing to buy me something like this. So, got a pretty good mom there. Alright, so the first Sharks jersey that I got. I can't remember where I got it, but I know I got it for really cheap. I think like 40 bucks I was able to find this one for. I think it was Sportcheck here in Calgary. Uh, I got this pretty much right after they redid their jerseys and got rid of, you know, pretty much all the striping on the jersey. And, yeah, I couldn't complain too much. I was never a huge, huge fan of this look, but for 40 bucks, I wasn't going to say no. All right, so up next, I think this is the last original collection um, jersey. This was uh, in the kind of the 2009-2008 era when I was able to get this, and... This so wasn't technically a Christmas gift, but I was able to use my Christmas money to go out and buy this on Boxing Day. And pretty much immediately got it sent out to get Jokin and put on the back. 
Um, I feel like I got another jersey when I bought this one as well, but I can't remember what it was. But, yeah. Um, I got this for full price at the time, which was about 100 bucks, $105, or whatever it was back in those days. I definitely miss those prices, that's for sure. And, yeah, I super happy that I got this because it's this definitely my favorite look that Tampa's ever had and gorgeous definitely needed to get my favorite player put on the back since he'd pretty much just been traded there from Dallas wasn't happy about that so I really didn't like Tampa at that point but this was the reason I started liking Tampa I liked their jerseys and they got my favorite player well at the time not quite my favorite player but getting there but yeah now I'm trying to think of what other jerseys because I know I definitely bought two jerseys out of that day um, I had a good Christmas that year, so I can't remember, it's going to drive me up the wall, but right back to that same store where I got the Thrashers and the Kings jerseys, Saskatoon, that, that store was a really good store. Still have some de decent ones from what I hear now, but yeah, I'm going to go think about what jersey I got with this one, but I can't remember what jersey I got with that Tampa one. Um, I'm sure I'll think of it tonight when I'm laying in bed, but. In the meantime, this was the first Toronto jersey I ever got. I got here at Sport Check. I drove through quite a few Sport Checks here in Calgary looking for this jersey. I saw a flyer that had this jersey on sale, so I went to, I think, about five or six before I was able to actually find it. Got it for a really good price. I think it's about 60 bucks. And, yeah, really happy with this for being my first Toronto jersey. I really liked this one at the time. And I still do, to be completely honest. But, yeah, moving on. All right, so my first Vancouver jersey. Um, I got this one for a decent price, I think about $80, $90, somewhere in there. And I got a blank. I had the Sven Barty part on there at that point. The only reason I got this was to get a Canucks jersey because at that point I kind of was looking for a jersey from every team. So the first one I found for a decent price and I was able to get a player that I really liked on it. So I was okay with it at the time. I really didn't like Vancouver. Um, Man, things change really weirdly, but yeah, it's a nice looking jersey. I'm pretty happy with it, but I think the LA white LA Kings jersey was the one I got actually with that Tampa jersey. Ooh, I wish I kept track of that more, but yeah, Vancouver, so it's a decent one. Can't go too, too wrong with it, but oh well, moving on. All right, so up next we have the Vegas jersey. Um... This is, I feel like, a lot of people's first Vegas jersey in their collection because the white one is pretty hard to find. That's not going to be the case for everyone, obviously. But, yeah, I truthfully, I would have rather have had the white one. Looking back on it now, I'm happy I got this one um, first, but in a perfect world, I would have been able to get the white one, but it's not really an option these days. You can't just go into any store or online, even, pretty much, for that matter, and just go ahead and get a white jersey. It's not that easy anymore. So, yeah, um... Vegas, I'm really quite happy with this one, and I'm definitely happy with the white one that I have as well. So, yeah, I like the inaugural patch. Definitely happy to have William Carlson on the back as well. Can't go wrong either way. I really like it. All right, so sort of like the Atlanta uh, situation. I bought these at the exact same time. Don't really know which one technically would be first, but like I said, I got them at the same time. So to me, that is the first Capitals jersey that I have. And I cannot remember if I got them here at Sportcheck or that store in Saskatoon. Um, I really don't remember at all. But they were pretty cheap. Um, they have the old RBK Vector logo, whatever you want to call it, um, which I really like. So, yeah, really happy with that. Um, I definitely need more Washington jerseys to kind of add my collection. I have four Washington jerseys. And they're pretty much all the exact same. I have the white version of this in Adidas, and I have the red version of this in Adidas, and that's pretty much about it. So, and I refuse to buy those 70 throwback ones. Those are hideously awful. All right, and last but not least, my first Winnipeg Jets jersey. I don't have, like, the original Winnipeg Jets. I just have the uh, Atlanta Thrashers Winnipeg Jets, not the Phoenix Coyotes Winnipeg Jets. I do definitely want to get a 90s... Uh, like Solani era Winnipeg Jets jersey, but for the new era Winnipeg Jets jersey, this one was the first that I got. 
and I got Tanner Glass on the back, and I have the inaugural season patch as well, like the Vegas one. Really happy with this one, and I definitely want to try to get this one signed at some point. That is nice. It is a nice looking jersey. But that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys my evolution of my collection and each jersey that I got. Um, the first one from that respective team. I know a lot of people out there who are either A, have all 31 teams and are, you know, their collections are massive and bigger than mine, and people who have just 31 teams uh, or 31 jerseys of each team. And I know there's people out there who are building towards that and have maybe as low as three or four or close to like that 20 to 22, 23 area. There's a lot of people out there at different stages in the collection game, and it's a lot of fun to do it. It's not always cheap, but you can definitely find cheap ones when you're looking for them in the right places and the right time. But let me know out there what you guys are looking for in your guys' collection. Are you looking to get at least one jersey from every single team? Maybe two jerseys from every single team, a white and a dark one? White ones will be harder to find, unfortunately. But it will make it funner to try it more fun to try to collect. Or are you just getting strictly teams that you just cheer for? Um, let me know what you guys think. And let me know what you guys are doing in your collection. Um, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this wasn't too long, but we all know how that ends up going. But I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Oh, if you guys want, you can check me on Instagram as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description as always. And yeah, take care guys. See you again.